Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in ASP.NET Core Blazor application how to implement the one-way and two-way bindings on a Razor component. If you are a first-time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Now, before writing the coding part, first we will check the basic output, how it looks at the designing part on the browser. Let's run this application and here we got our the default output of our application. If you notice in the left side panel, there is a contact navigation link. When I click that one, we are getting the contact page component which is a razor component. Once again, I am telling if you are very fresh or beginner in ASP.NET Core Blazor applications, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video. In that video, I have shared how to add the navigation link and Razor components to the Blazor application. Now, let's continue the today's lesson. Is first we'll discuss about the one-way binding. How to implement one-way binding? If you check the this Razor component page contains a label called contact page. If you check in this Razor component page, see the H3 tag is a contact page. Now with the help of one way binding, instead of writing this contact page here, I will get this from the code tags. Let's add the string display name is a variable is equals to and this is contact page semicolon. Now here I am deleting this contact page. At, I'm adding my string variable name which is a display name let's add that one here that's it let's restart the browser we'll check the output now let's visit the contact razor page see here this is the contact page before it was contact page now we have implemented the one-way binding display name here now, if you want to display the variable on the text box, let's add the input. Here, the property is at bind is equals to. Let's simply add this variable name here. That's it. Let's close this input text box control. Now, let's check the output. I'm restarting the browser. Let's go to the contact tracer component. See here, this is the contact page. I'm reloading the browser again. See, this is the contact page. This is how we implement the one way binding in ASP.NET Core Blazor app with the Razor components. Now, let's check the second one two way binding. If you notice here, this is the contact page. The two way binding is when a user writes something here, it's a challenge whatever the user types in this text box control i want to display the data the value in this h3 tag this is called a two-way binding check here the cursor is blinking in the text box control when i mouse click on the outside see here we got the charan charan k so this is called the two-way binding but but my requirement is whatever the user types inside the text box control that text values instantly change here let's do that thing also stop the application to achieve that functionality whatever user types in the text box control i want to change the h3 tag instantly so for that i'm using the event call at bind colon event is equals to the event is called on input that's it just we need to add only one event let's check the output go to contact razor component now let's type something here my name is here See here, whatever I am typing here, the values I am typing, it is changing instantly. This is called the two-way binding. If I delete, it is gone. 
Hello. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to implement the one-way and two-way bindings in ASP.NET Core Blazor app on Razer components.